a landmark medical event today, a milestone in stem cell research. For the first time ever, doctors have injected human embryonic stem cells into a patient with a spinal cord injury. Embryonic stem cells have been at the center of an intense national debate, and tonight, the first chance for doctors to see if they might indeed work in humans. David Wright on today's Breakthrough. For years, scientists have held out the promise that embryonic stem cells could repair damaged spinal cords. Actor Christopher Reeves died waiting for a cure. But never until now have embryonic stem cells been injected into a human being. Well, this is the dawn of a new era in medical therapeutics. We're leaving behind the days of using pills to treat symptoms and entering a new era where we're using living human cells. In this case, cells obtained from human embryos discarded from in vitro fertilization procedures. Scientists from Giron Corporation, the company conducting the trial, injected the first human test subject Friday in this small hospital in Atlanta. They'll add one new patient per month for the next year. The company won FDA approval after promising results among lab rats. Rats with little use of their hind legs were able to walk again within weeks after being injected with embryonic stem cells. But the company is playing down expectations for the human trial. They first have to prove the treatment is safe. With any new product, there are always unanticipated risks. All of the new patients in this first clinical trial will receive low doses of stem cells. All of them are paralyzed from the waist down. These human volunteers will have to be recruited over time, right after suffering life-altering spinal cord injuries. The thing is, they have to receive the injection within two weeks of the injury, so the second human test subject likely hasn't even been injured yet. Uh, I think we should ex uh, anticipate many failures before we ultimately see success. The ethical debate continues over using human embryos for this, but now the medicine is moving forward. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles.